We move on. Well, the next big elimination came about week four, and it was uh, when Sasha and Snooki got knocked off. And in real life, Sasha is my partner, Emma's boyfriend. And that week we do this dance called the Jive. I'm 57. I don't jive. I didn't jive at 27. I ain't gonna jive at 57. And we got like two sixes and a seven, and they got like two nines and an eight. So we're standing there at the end of the show, doo -doo -doo -doo. and uh, Tom Bergeron walks in between us. And he goes, Bill, I usually read the prompt at this point in the show, but you've done television, why don't you read it? And I said, whatever. And I look in the camera, and they go, Bill and Emma, you're safe. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Can we recount? Because that doesn't seem right. <laughs> it was so off the charts. I looked at my wife in the audience and I'm like, this is wrong. Because <laughs> I got deer season coming. <laughs> and of course, my wife's looking at me that looked like, don't be an idiot, just stand there. <laughs> oh, because she's digging this. Every Monday she gets a new dress and she's on TV. She don't want me bailing. Well, now Snooki's crying because she just got eliminated. Emma's crying because her boyfriend just got eliminated. I started crying because I'm going to miss damn deer season. <laughs> and we move on. Well, by week six, I was shutting down. My body was like, I've had enough. I was begging to be voted off. I told my wife, by week six, you ever watch those animal shows on the National Geographic? I was that wounded gazelle at the back of the herd, just kind of limping along, and the cheetah goes, oh my god, he's going to get eaten by the cheetah! And when I, just as he gets him, I fall, and he runs, and I'm like, where'd he go? <laughs> it was just so, I was so ready. And so, but we kept moving on, because y'all kept voting. <laughs> well, now we're a week away from the finals. And it's, this week, we had to learn two dances in one week. We had to learn the cha-cha, and we had to learn the Argentine tango. So we're rehearsing the cha-cha, and all of a sudden Emma goes, Bill, can you do a cartwheel? <laughs> I said, Emma, I'm 57. <laughs> yes, I can do a cartwheel. <laughs> and I did it. And she goes, oh my God, this is great, they'll love it. We'll do the move, we'll cha-cha in front of them, you do the cartwheel, they'll eat it up. And we started rehearsing this, and I'm doing this stupid car wheel. I can't believe I'm doing it. And then all of a sudden, my brain goes, hey, what if, instead of a cartwheel, what if I did a round off with a half twist? <laughs> and Emma goes, can you do one? <laughs> and I said, yes. And my brain went, no. <laughs> But I did it. She goes, oh, this is brilliant. This is this is even better than the cartwheel. And we're rehearsing. I'm doing this stupid move. I don't even know where I learned it. And she goes, let's do it one more time, then we'll go into the Argentine tango. So we get to that point in the dance, and I do the round off with a half twist. But this time when I landed, instead of landing with my knees bent, I landed with my knees locked. And the bad knee went, bye-bye. I hit the floor, and I was hurt. Well, they iced it down and they kind of settled down and uh, Emma said, look, let's just do the Argentine tango. It's slow and it won't hurt your knee. I don't know if you know what the Argentine tango is, but it is literally just sex to music. <laughs> oh, it's just this rub and grind and your faces are like this. And I'm like, oh, Christ. <laughs> this is going to be awkward. <laughs> well, she's 24. My wife's at every show. <laughs> All right, I'll do it for the sake of the show, but I am not going to enjoy this. <laughs> so we start rehearsing this dance. Well, Emma was always about doing a big trick for the judges. She was, all right, Bill, here's what I want you to do. I want you to lay me down, pick me up, spin me out. I'll spin back in. You lift me up, push me out. I'll flip around your waist and you catch my legs. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you've been watching or not, but I'm not that good at this, and you're going to die. 
She goes, don't worry about me, I'll be there. I was like, all right, it's your life. So I laid her down, picked her up, spun her out. She spun in, I lifted her up, I pushed her out. That little thing flipped around my waist and I caught her legs and I went, oh my God. I am getting this. Oh, there's gonna be Bill Ball Dance Studio. I got a whole new career path. So we rehearsed it for about another hour or two. And she goes, let's do it one more time and we'll go home. And so we get to that point, I lay her down, pick her up, spin her out, she spins in, I lift her up to here. Well, we've been there for about seven hours, and I'm starting to get tired. And I let her slip that much. And then I took my step and she shifted her weight to spin around me. And I heard a noise come from my crotch <laughs> that was somewhere between a scream and a tear. <laughs> I had torn my groin. Oh, I hit the ground. I'm rolling around grabbing my crotch screaming. <laughs> Emma learned a whole bunch of new American cuss words. <laughs> filming it. I don't even care. I mean, I've never felt pain like this in my life. And for you fellows who've never torn your groin, allow me to describe it. Tonight after the show, go home and take out your hunting knife and stick it in the fire until it gets red hot. And then just take it out and jab it right in your crotch. That's kind of what it feels like. They had to call Gail to come get me because I couldn't even drive. This happened on a Friday. We shoot the show on Monday. Saturday morning, I called little Emma and I said, sweetheart, we're done. I said, I can't get out of here. She goes, well, I just want to make sure you're all right. And I said, I'm fine, babe. But this, this is going to, we're not going to dance. She goes, well, I have to call the producers. I said, well, do what you got to do. So she calls the producers. Well, then the producers call me and say, we want to bring our doctor over. He's a doctor of pain management. When I was in college, we called him Dr. Feelgood. <laughs> So they show up at the house, I'm laying on my couch with an ice pack on my crotch. They got a camera crew, producers, this doctor. And he starts examining, he goes, yeah, you tore your groin. I said, I got it. He said, I said, I guess we're done, huh? And he goes, no. I said, what are you talking about? He said, I'm gonna give you an injection. I said, you ain't sticking a needle anywhere near there. I'm 57, I got enough with you just as it is. I don't need a needle being jammed around in there. He goes, no, no, no. He goes, I'm going to give you a shot in your thigh. And he did, and the pain went, bye-bye. Monday morning, it took me two hours to get ready for this stupid show. I was shaved, wrapped, strapped, tape, gel, cool, heated. And we somehow got through the cha-cha and got like three sixes. And then I don't know what happened. I don't know if I had just resigned myself to the fact that we were done and I didn't care. But we did the Argentine tango and we just <coughs> drilled it. So at the end of the show, they do their thing. And now we're up against Val and Elizabeth, the Russian guy. And they got three tens. I thought, like, great, we're done. So we're standing there, and I'm literally at this point standing like this. And they go, Bill and Emma. You've had below average scores all season. All right, do we have to bring that up, really? <laughs> it's like your kid going through high school, getting all D's, and at graduation, the principal goes, you got all D's, I don't know how you did it, but there's his diploma. <laughs> and they go, Val and Elizabeth, you got three tens, a perfect score. Did your fans vote enough to keep you on? And I whispered in Emma's ear, I said, sweetheart, we're done. She goes, yeah, I'm afraid so. I said, look, we walk out of here with our heads held high. We got further than we thought we'd get. We got further than anybody in the world thought we'd get. So we walk out of here proud. She goes, you know what? You're right. And they go, Bill and Emma, you're in the finals. Oh my God. <laughs> now I know my wife's involved in this. <laughs> well, she can't kill me outright because then she'll go to prison. But if she's paying people to vote and I have a heart attack and die on this stupid show, they'll just call it a tragic accident. <laughs> Well, that night after the Argentine tango, by this time, my body is shut down. This was me getting into bed. I literally went back up against the bed and then just lay down like a board. And that, because that's the only way nothing hurt. And when we get ready for bed, and Gail gets in bed, she goes, honey, I want you to know something. I am really proud of you. The kids are proud of you. You didn't want to do this. It's not in your comfort zone, but you did it. You've made your fans proud. You've made our family proud. And I am just so proud of you. And I said, thanks, sweetheart. She turns off the light. 20 seconds later, she turns the light back on. And she goes, I gotta say one more thing. I said, what? 
And she goes, that Argentine tango? And I said, yeah. She goes, that was friggin' hot. <laughs> <laughs> know what she wants to do. <laughs> and normally I'm all in. <laughs> but I said, all right, but you're on top because I can't move. <laughs> Well, now we're in the finals, and little Emma is out of her mind giddy. Because it's her first year to dance with a celebrity, and she's like, Bill, this is the big dance. We can do whatever we want. We're in the finals. We can do whatever we want. And I go, no, we can't. She says, what do you mean? I said, honey, I've got a torn groin, a bad knee, a pulled hamstring. I'm 57. We can't do whatever we want. <laughs>